National Security Advisor Flynn lied about discussions with Russian Ambassador related to sanctions. Is that right? That's correct. Michael Cohen lied to this committee about Trump Tower Moscow. Is that correct? Yes. George Papadopoulos, the President's senior foreign policy advisor, lied to the FBI about his communications about Russia's possession of dirt on Hillary Clinton. Is that right? Correct. Yes. The President's campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, lied about meetings that he had with someone with ties to Russian intelligence. Is that correct? That's, that's true. And your investigation was hampered by Trump campaign officials' use of encryption communications. Is that right? We believe that to be the case. You also believe to be the case that your investigation was hampered by the deletion of electronic messages. Is that correct? It would be, yes. And generally, any uh, case would be if uh, those kinds of communications are, are used. For example, you noted that Deputy Campaign Manager Rick Gates, who shared internal campaign polling data with the person with ties to Russian intelligence at the direction of Manafort, that Mr. Gates deleted those communications on a daily basis. Is that right? I, I take your word. I, I, I say I don't know specifically, but if it's in the report, then I support it. That's right, Director. It's volume one, page 136. Thank you. In addition to that, other information was inaccessible because your office determined it was protected by attorney-client privilege. Is that correct? That is true. That would include that you do not know whether communications between Donald Trump and his personal attorneys Jay Sekulow, Rudy Giuliani, and others discourage witnesses from cooperating with the government. Is that right? I'm not going to talk to that. That would also mean that you can't talk to whether or not pardons were dangled through the president's attorneys because the shield of attorney-client privilege. Um, I, not, I, I'm not going to discuss that. Did you want to interview Donald Trump Jr.? I, I'm not going to discuss that. Did you subpoena Donald Trump Jr.? And I'm not going to discuss that. Did you want to interview the president? Yes. Director Mueller, on January 1st, 2017, through March 2019, Donald Trump met with Vladimir Putin in person six times, called him ten times, and exchanged four letters with him. Between that time period, how many times did you meet with Donald Trump? Uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, get into that. He did not meet with you in person, is that correct? He did not. As a result of lies, deletion of text messages, obstruction and witness tampering, is it fair to say that you were unable to fully assess the scope and scale of Russia's interference in the 2016 election and Trump's role in that interference? I'm not certain I would uh, adopt that uh, characterization. In total, there may be pieces of it that are accurate, but not in total. But you did state in volume one, page 10, that while this report embodies factual and legal determinations, the office believes it to be accurate and complete to the greatest extent possible. Given these identified gaps, the office cannot rule out the possibility that the unavailable information would shed additional light. Is that, that correct? That is, that is correct. We don't know what we don't know. Why is it so important that witnesses cooperate and tell the truth in an investigation like this? as the testimony of the witnesses goes to the heart of just about any criminal case you have. Thank you. And, Mr. Chairman, I'd yield back. And thank you, Director Mullen.